Good morning, everybody. Today is going to be the zero day in Rangeley, Maine. So I'm just going to um, do a resupply stuff. I think I only need like two days of food to bounce to the next place. I just made reservations at the next hostel, which I think is called Hostel of Maine. Apparently that place has got awesome reviews. It's one of the best places on the whole trail. So that'll be cool. I got locked into that place. So that's two days away from here once I'm back on trail. And then, um, so right now we're just going to go get some breakfast, find some food, chilling. I Still struggling to um, get some videos uploaded, so hopefully we can get some of that taken care of maybe later today. But uh, that's all I'm going to be up to, so I'll check back later throughout the day as we um, accomplish more tasks, I guess. But just a zero day today, and this may be my last zero on the entire rest of the trail. Get the local IGA. This is going to be um, the resupply. I'm looking for two days of food and looking for some breakfast items here as well. Done with resupply shopping. I've got a lot of good food. I'll show that here in a second. Just a two-day stretch for the um, till we get to the next place, and um, so we're done with the family cabin. Travis and your dad, thank you very much for all the hospitality. It's been awesome. It's such a cool treat to um, be taken care of as I was, um, and not have to worry about other like uh, accommodations and other things for that uh, day. So it was awesome, and it was great hiking with you. Yesterday was just perfect, and um, so right now, continuing the zero day. Um, I just got checked into the. Uh, saddle back in. It's still only like a, um, it's like a little little after 11, I think. So they were level. They were able to let me um, just check into a room nice and early. So I'm gonna um, show my logistics for this next stretch, show my food, and then um, just kind of chill for a short walk to other stuff in town. We'll go get lunch and stuff here shortly. Um, the town of Rangeley is uh, kind of small, but it's uh, got everything you would need. So let me show you uh, what we're doing for the next go around. Here's what my food run looks like. Whole bunch of snacks. I'm overloaded with Snickers bars, so that's gonna be awesome to get me through two days worth of hiking. And then uh, breakfasts, two muffins for breakfast, and then packing out some sandwiches, lunch, dinner. This will be like lunch the second day. And dinner on the third day, there's a church doing trail magic that I saw a flyer for at my end point road crossing, but they stopped doing trail magic at three o'clock. So I'm going to race to get there and try to catch that. If not, no worries. I'm going to get into town, stay at a hostel, and I can get dinner um, right next door, one way or the other. So we'll get something good. And here's the plan what this next stretch looks like. We're getting back on trail, main route 4, 15-mile day to a stealth site. Might be the best option if I can find something there. And this is going to leave a 17-ish mile day to route 27. This is where... There's um, a church doing the trail magic, if I can get there that fast. I may try to get a little more miles maybe on the first day, so the second day is less miles, and I can get in there. So one way or the other, it doesn't matter. But um, I have reservations already at the Hostel of Maine. They do pickups from Route 27 for free, uh, 1 o'clock or 4.30. So I'm going to try to make the 4.30. So in some ways, I am kind of in a race to get to Route 27 so I can get picked up. That um, So there's my two days resupply. The Hostel of Maine apparently has a decent resupply at the hostel, so I think I'm just going to resupply right out of the place. I'm looking at like a two and a half mile or two and a half day stretch um, to um, a lean to, another lean to. This is where the famous Kennebec River crossing is on a canoe. So the canoe service runs from um, nine to two o'clock in the afternoon. So that's when I'm going to have to make that window. If I stay at the Pierce Pond lean-to, I can easily catch that in the morning. It's only a few miles. I can be there right at 9 o'clock to uh, catch across and then get to the Pleasant Pond lean-to. I'm going to see if, um, again, my buddy Travis has got another family uh, relative cabin that lives really, really close to there on Ple Pleasant Pond. So um, I'm going to see if I can get picked up from there to get some more resupply for the next stretch. But that's what that looks like so far. Gonna try the red onion for lunch. Here, good thing about the pizza here. Yeah, here's what I got. Pepperoni pizza, a little brownie dessert. Just brought it back to the motel. I'm just gonna eat it here. I finished all whole pizza. That went down perfect. And um, right now I'm just getting some videos uploaded finally. Getting myself kind of caught back up on those. Finishing some editing. And I'm just gonna work on that all the rest of the day. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner. Uh, maybe go out and get something later, but we'll figure it out at some point.
Well, I've just been working on videos and stuff for the last couple of hours, and I kind of missed my opportunity to go out and get dinner, because I think most stuff of them is already closed, um, like at 8 o'clock, so they all closed up relatively early, I guess. Even the grocery store is now closed, so whatever. Um, so I think I'm just going to keep on working on stuff throughout the night, and seeing if I can get more videos uploaded, that kind of thing, and then we'll um, just take off nice and early, and then uh, back in the woods for a two-day stretch to a hostel for tomorrow, so... Um, it's been a nice zero day, even though I've just kind of been lounging around and um, just working on videos and stuff. That's all I kind of needed to do anyway, but I kind of like the town and the area of Rangeley. I've had a neat little time here. It's a kind of a quaint little town, just one little street, and um, you can get enough shopping and uh, food and stuff taken care of that you need to get here, so uh, it hasn't been too bad. I'm going to go ahead and sign off here, I guess, and um, we'll be back at it tomorrow, so... Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. Today we're getting back on trail. I was pretty successful in getting videos uploaded, so those should be kind of um, ready to go now, and we can kind of get back on track on that. But I'm going to finish um, packing up, and um, I've got my lovely breakfast of muffins and stuff. I've got all kinds of baked sandwiches and all that for um, what I'm going to be eating throughout this next stretch, so it's going to be awesome. And uh, we'll be hitchhiking back to the trail because it's about a three and a half miles or so from where I'm at. And um, it rained a bit last night, but it doesn't sound like it's raining right now. I haven't looked at the weather forecast, but today's kind of going to be that wet potential for rainy kind of day. And then the sun comes out later, I think. So finish up packing breakfast and we'll get hitchhiking here shortly. All right, here we are back at the trailhead about 45 minutes or so to get a hitch. There's plenty of cars going by. It just took a bit for um, one to actually come grab me. But uh, no worries. I think today we're stealthing it. Somewhere's around 15 point something miles, I think. And um, definitely up and over some mountains. And what also is cool is we noticed that the um, leaves have only just started changing on all the trees. So red is starting to pop out a lot more. And that's only been noticeable just in the last, literally in the last day or two. So. Start moving on the trail. These boards are definitely well intended. It keeps you out of the mud and stuff in muddier areas, but over the years, a lot of them are like loose, so they wobble when you walk on them. And when they're wet, they're especially dangerous because they're extremely slippery. So I feel like always more of a safety hazard when I'm walking on these things. I've had numerous very close call slips off of these things. All right. Some more signage at a stream crossing. We got uh, Piazza Rock, point three. There's a lean-to shelter there. We'll maybe just poke our head in for a minute. And then we're starting to climb up Saddleback. It's the first big mountain of the day. 4.2 to the top. We're gonna be gaining a lot of altitude on that one. I think it's over 4,000 feet. And when we started, the town of Rangeley was lower than 1,000 feet, I think. Don't quote me on that though, so we got a little bit of altitude to gain over those miles. And there's a big section that's going to be all above tree line as well. And the weather is going to improve throughout the day. We never got rained on, but everything's wet. But like the sun should be poking out some, I think. Well, I made it to the area where the um, Piazza Rock lean-to is at, and this is the best little um, area map I've seen for a shelter. Let's see, we're up here, we just came from the south. Um, there's tenting, there's more tenting, group overflow spaces, there's the shelter, there's a privy. Um, we'll probably continue on the AT, maybe check out the shelter, and then back. I've heard about this place called the Caves. Um, we'll probably just get past it. I feel like I am kind of in a time rush a little bit, because I would like to get more miles in than, um, what I'm kind of planning to do. Well, let's see what this says. Somewhere around 60 degrees, maybe a little less. Feels nice temperature-wise, though. But, okay, we'll continue up. Well, we're in and out of the shelter real quick. There was a couple people there, so I didn't want to you know, film in front of them and all that, but back on trail and 
There's some fresh moose tracks for you. It's a big looking one. I've seen some that were smaller. But um, you figure the moose are gonna be going right down the trail because it's easy to walk through for them. So if you're gonna have a moose encounter, it's gonna be right on the trail. So that's all moose, moose, lots of moose prints. This stuff is fresh. This could have been, this could have been last night or just an hour ago. That's all moose. Moose, moose, moose. Sweet. So far the trail hasn't been too steep. It's just um, like stepping through jumbles of rocks and roots. It's not too bad. It's just the uh, everything's wet kind of makes it the most difficult because your feet are constantly slipping around. But this isn't bad, just scrambled up. Here's an interesting little set of tracks. Those are really tiny. Um, I'm thinking of what those can be. They look like they could have little claw marks on them. Like they're, um, I don't know. Like it's so small. Let's see who in the internet knows. I'll um, ugh, put my hand next to it for reference, I guess. There's, uh, there's for reference. Fragile Alpine Zone coming up. This is going to be where it's above tree line for the next three miles. And it's kind of windy. We're in the clouds. It's a little on the chilly side. And I don't know if we'll see much. The ascent coming up here has actually been not bad. It's just that everything's wet. That's the worst part as usual, but it's just kind of, it's not like a boulder scramble too bad. It's um, manageable enough. Made it to the top of Saddleback. Uh, the horn is next. That's the next mountain. Whew. All right. It's definitely cold and chilly and windy up here. We're just right in a little pocket of the weather where it's opening up just a little bit here. Just a little bit of a view. Right below tree line now and the terrain has gotten really 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 rocky so this is just going really slow right now and it's very slippery and we're falling and stumbling but we got some colors up here at least you got some yellows popping on the trees Ugh. yeah I gotta put the camera away um, very rugged coming down well now we're done with the super rough descent and I just want to get to the next shelter in a couple of miles I'll take a break for lunch so I can eat one of my sandwiches. I think I can hold out till that long. This is looking backwards for a second. Almost to the top of Saddleback Junior. Clouds are slowly starting to lift up. And today is um, kind of rugged with the ups and downs. I am not making the kind of time and mileage that I would like to. I can get to my kind of intended stealth site okay, but I really want to push past that. That'll set me up better for tomorrow. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Super 
windy. There's Saddleback and all that behind us. And the horn. Those are the ones that are all socked in. Everything else is doing all right. Here's the Poplar Ridge lean-to. We'll take a lunch break here. It's a late lunch. It's like 2.40, I think. But it's nice that the trail goes straight through. There's the trail off that way. So I gotta reassess what I'm doing, how far I think I can get today, and all that good stuff. We'll come up with a game plan. So for lunch, we are having a cranberry chicken salad sandwich and some Snickers bars that I'm dropping on the ground. But anyway, I was looking over the plan and what my average speed and stuff and what the trains look like. It's going to continue to be ups and downs, so I don't think I can make it to the next shelter. It's still eight miles from here. It's going to take too long. It's going to be past sunset at that point. So I'm just going to continue to my original plan and get some stealth sights by stream, which is only like 4.7-ish from here. So I'm going to eat up, and then um, we'll be back on trail here shortly. All right, we're back on trail. Done with our break. And um, I'm starting out bundled up because I'm cold. Temperatures up here, I think, is in the 40s only. Ugh. And it's going to be um, really, really cold tonight. Temperatures will definitely be uh, close to freezing, if not maybe. No, it'll be above freezing probably, but it's going to be cold. But something I just remembered, there's a guy I've been hiking around for like the last um, two weeks or so, and I caught up with him this morning, and he said he saw a moose today, and... We were talking about the location and it was right where I saw those fresh moose tracks so he was just a little bit ahead of me so I probably just missed that moose myself by like 15 minutes but that's how uh, recent those moose tracks were so that's kind of cool This is all just slippery enough to be really dangerous, especially when you're trying to film at the same time. Uh, nice little stream crossing here. The water levels have not been bad at all, despite the amount of rain that we've had. It's like a wrecked boat over there. I've heard stories of people having to like ford through this when it's like waist deep or something like that. And now the straight up rock scramble. Yeah, this is what's taking so long. Okay, I think I found some stealth sites that are pretty good. Here's where the trail goes off that way. You've got a nice little wide corridor here. like an old snowmobile route or something. Oh, it's like a whole a bridge structure at one time, I guess. Brought it away now. But this will work. I'm gonna set up a tent here, I think. <sighs> yeah, distance-wise, we're just... I'm going too slow and it's just too far to get there before sunset to the next shelter, so this is gonna have to work. Okay, I'm set up in my tent. I think I'm kind of pretty well protected from the wind, it feels like, but it's still definitely a windy day. Uh, the, the clouds are supposed to clear. Tonight's supposed to be clear, which will be um, keeping the temperatures cold. I'm um, expecting it to be somewhere between 35 and 38 degrees, probably, where I'm at. But I'll be warm and bundled up. I'm going to munch on some dinner. I've got a um, chicken Caesar wrap going to be dinner. That thing's going to be awesome. And then I'm going to work on videos and stuff. And let's see what else. I think that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I'm going to try to get up as early as possible. Um, probably going to do some night hiking in the morning. I would like to make the um, church group at the road crossing like, I don't know what the mileage is going to be for tomorrow. 17 mile a day or something like that. 
they stopped doing trail magic at 3 o'clock based on the flyers that I've seen over the last couple of days. I don't know if I can make that, but I'm going to try. At the very least, I have to be at the road crossing at 4.30 is the last pickup to go to the hostel. So I'm going to call the hostel at some point tomorrow to confirm that I am inbound and will be ready for pickup at 4.30. I think we got a couple of more peaks to go up and over for tomorrow, but I haven't taken too close of a look at what that actually looks like. I just got to keep um, a pretty good pace, which is why I'm going to head out you know, like as early as possible tomorrow. So I think that's about it. Um, so thanks for watching, and we will see you all in the next one.